Not that kind of escort. I was like, what? Did it you clock it? Meaning. Did you clock it? What is the other meaning? Escort, like, um, begleiter. How do you say it in English? Hey guys, welcome back to the Rainbow Reels with Panos. I'm Matt. What are we watching? We are watching Fellow Travelers, which you guys know already because you clicked on the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> right? True. Um, we have no idea what Fellow Travelers is about. We are going in blind. We haven't watched the trailer. No. I mean, we've seen... Have we seen a clip? Not really. I haven't seen no. anything. No. I mean, we, we, we've seen the actors, you know, posters and stuff, but we don't know what this is about. You guys started requesting it as early as Young Royal Season 1 mm -hmm. in the comments. You requested it throughout Season 2. And eventually we did a poll and it won. Uh, so here it is. Here we are. Let's go. Let's go. Then why can't it be Fellow travelers. Ooh, this looks nice. Nice neighborhood. What is this? 60s? 50s? Oh, could be. Could be nowadays as well. Mm, not with the cars. 86. 86. One year before I was born. If it's pleasing. Oh, a party. Hey, hey, hey. Careful. Lifetime. Hey, there's ice cream in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. Tell your mother I said it's okay. <laughs> I almost gave up my dream of moving to Italy with the man I love. In the end, she settled for going with me. <laughs> Oh, what's her name? She's from uh, Get Out. The daughter? They made her look older. Yes, you could see it in the neck. I was yes. like, this looks weird. <laughs> they made him look older as well. Yeah, but she, I mean, the neck looks... Marcus? Fuck. When Tim heard I was coming to DC, he asked me to drop by. How is he? How are any of us? You don't know from one day to the next who's... Oh, AIDS epidemic? No. I mean, it's Tim late 80s, you know? True. Settling things. He wants you to have... Stop. And you? No. Oh, no. So far. How about you? Me? It's not impossible. Well, he has a family, no? He has kids? He wears someone. He's had a couple romances. Something kept getting in the way. You've a beautiful family. A beautiful life. I hope it was worth it. Oh no. Is this another broke uh, broke back mountain number? Are we gonna get the backstory? Whole backstory. Yes. What's that? 1952. Wow. So, 34 years ago. What do you want? To drink. A glass of milk. What? Milk. Glass of milk. <laughs> um, is this how it starts? And the woman makes it all possible. There we have the title of Fellow Travelers. And together we will make America safe and Okay, weird signals. No. I was about to say, are they showing us this beautiful <laughs> garden scene and now yeah. he's looking for a quick BJ in the toilet. Wow. <laughs> Such contrast, you mm. know? He's like, I want you. Damn. 
Okay. Okay. I'm punching him. Right, we're not showing this on YouTube. <laughs> no, we can't. Sorry, guys, we can't show this. No. <laughs> I'm Eddie. How about you? <laughs> Standard, no? It's like, what even is your name, you exactly. know? Exactly. You want to give me your number? Give me the lighter. No, he wants the lighter, not your number. Mm. He wants to see him again. Okay, so they're mushing them like this. 36th Infantry Division. When General Clark ordered the offensive against the Nazis. Do you remember season? back in the day when everybody was smoking inside? Yeah. Crazy, no? If you mm, think, if about, you think it. about it. The voice of America lives to see another day. Good work. It's a worthy program. It'll be even better when they clean out all the reds. So, what is his job? Oh, Mr. Milkman. Mr. Milkman. <clears throat> what were you doing at that party? You had to know someone. I worked on the New York campaign. Mm. I have a degree in political. Interesting. Oh, look at their body languages. Ah. Down, boy. I'm no red. I'm a war hero. They include that in the register? They did. Along with your degree from Penn? And your work at the State Department. Is that them flirting? <laughs> well, I mean, this was the 50s, so maybe that was flirting back then. Probably. Give me your number. Yeah. This is flirting. Hear of anything in the... Make it sound like a bad thing. Wanting to do some... Also, give me your number. Was that a thing back Not in the day? Bad. For what? The landline? Yeah. Look here. Behind you. No. Who's there. Yeah. They have to hit their quota. Quota. Of... No. Oh. Oh. Quota. Of what? Hunting gays? Sounds like it, no? But you're joking. Huh? I'll spend the afternoon picturing you kneeling in prayer. Stop it. He's taking it up to a hundred. But also like it's so bold of him to assume that yes. he's gay, right? I don't know. I mean, he's maybe obviously gay. Obviously we're not catching up. Could also on just to... be like n nerdy, right? Yes. Doesn't mean he's gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. By the Soviet system. Mr. Cole, this witness has not said that he signed any petitions or joined... Oh, 50... What did he say? 52. So we're fresh out of World War II. Why the Cold War really starting here? Hmm. Who's a Randolph Scott type sitting next to Tom? Oh! Gerard David Shine. So they know each other from work. Hey, Hawk. <clears throat> oh, she's back from Europe. Wonderful. I'm sure she'd like to see you. Tell her I'll call. Lucy is what? His daughter? Lucy is his future wife, no? Yeah, I guess, yeah. Oh gosh, did you see the underwear? Not Calvin Klein. Back then. Back wasn't then. that sexy, no. you know? Well, actually, back then it was sexy. That was sexy yeah, underwear. Yeah, this was, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Hello? Mr. Laughlin. This is I? I'm gonna give you an address. Mr. Fuller. Job's a junior assistant with writing duties. Send your resume to the attention of Miss Jean Kerr. I don't know how to thank you. Oh. I'll work on that. <laughs> he knows how to thank you. <laughs> Go on your knees. And stop Listen. praying. Yeah. Watch out for Joe's hands. Oh? What is going is on? Is gay? Secretly gay? Apparently so. Makes you, what, turns your stomach or something. Timmy's happy. I hope they have milk in the fridge for Timmy. <laughs> He's an eager beaver, Senator. Could stand to improve his spelling. You have to do this one again. Oh. Sorry. He tells me you're no. a Isn't that the competition? So he, pl he placed him in the competition's office. About our religions on 
We know our sins will be forgiven. Oh, is it just me? Hello, is Mr. Fuller in? I'm afraid he's not. Do you know when he'll be back? I have something for him. Oh, I'll take it. You can give it to me. Will Mr. Fuller know who it's from? I wrote a note inside. You'll be sure he gets it. Promise. Thank you. Well, she'll be sure to read it. Oh, he seems very artistic. <laughs> artistic meaning gay? <laughs> Now this bitch is gonna go after that book. Privacy. Oh, hi Timmy. Oh. I'm not allowed no. visitors. This is a little cringe. What does he know where he lives? Exactly. Mr. Fuller, I need you to back off. Looks like you're already cooking something. What is it? <laughs> Chicken noodle soup. <laughs> Chicken noodle soup. Oh, this is funny. I spent half a year in Jesuit high school. That's what I'm talking about, the body language. He he just owns everything. Look, he's already taking off his jacket. Yeah, he's he like, walks. Ah, the way he's floating. He wants him. to kiss him. Aww. He's very direct. Maybe you could do me a favor. Let me know what you're asked to research. Keep your ears open. See, so he did it on purpose. What about you? Who was your first? Does he even remember? He probably does not. Is this all right? I'd be like, don't touch my jewelry. Tim is cute without um, glasses. I'm a cute oh. with and without. But I love that he's like a little nerd, but he has an amazing body. Mm. He also has an amazing body. I know. They're like, let's give the gays a show. I would be like, like he wants to be in charge, this is you know, not like... the fantasy. This is the fantasy, but fold them? Okay, we can't show this either. What is Licking going armpits. on? They're like, guys, we need you to feel it. Feel it. Go for it. Do whatever you want. Um, this might be the thumbnail. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, I mean just this is fine. Yeah. You know, like That was nice, Skippy. But you need a radio. Oh Mary is judging you. Next time we'll turn her toward the wall. Yeah. He's judging himself. Mary enjoyed the show. Is that a webcam? No, it's a radio. Oh. <laughs> and a plug, I mean. Oh, wow. Wow, they're really going for they it. They are going for it, and they're showing us a lot. Timmy is living. But you know what? And it gives me the ache. Uh, Mr. Fuller, it feels a little bit like a game for him, no? That's what I'm getting. Jean Kerr says you are unofficially engaged to Senator Smith's daughter, Lucy. I just want to know you. Give him something. Tell him to know the real him. Yeah. How are you enjoying Look Homeward Angel? Interesting how quickly he spots another guy and you can tell oh mm. another gay in the room it's like a sonar Bing! and then he catches them george it's been a while i'm 
being investigated. They had me followed and caught me coming out of the chicken hut. The chicken hut? Of Sylvie. And I adore my kids, but I have needs. If anyone should understand, it's you. Keep your voice down. <gasps> wow. If I don't produce names, they'll go to Sylvie and tell her everything. Oh, no. I explosive! You're lucky. You have all those war medals. You're bulletproof. Is he, though? Congresswoman Johnson. I have a feeling you're calling about Tim. I am. There's no getting better. No. Our government is letting people die. I'm gonna give you his address. Oh my god, not him. Stop it. Hello? Hello? Small world, huh? You work here too? Eddie. Yeah. Uh, Park? Eddie. But that what? But that was like over 30 years ago. No. This is back in the past. We're back in 1952. Oh, sorry. You know exactly who I am. Eddie, go back to your work. Mm. Are they gonna blame it on him? I don't know. They're but gonna give that his that guy's name. Eddie. Oh, he just gave him the last name. No, he said Eddie something something. This is explosive. Good morning, Mr. Fuller. Oh, that's his office. Yeah, he didn't want the other guy to know. That's mm. Georgia Talk. I have a name for you. I told. Poor guy. We can't let Eisenhower hijack the subversive teacher. Center. That's why you don't treat your name, I guess. Skippy, get in here. Can't get you a drink. I'm all out of milk. Oh, dear. <laughs> there was an argument at the office about Eisenhower. Take off your jacket. Fold it. <laughs> no, no, just the pants. And they're worried Eisenhower's trying to undermine them with it. <gasps> oh, cute. Mm, like, this is sit cute. on daddy's lap. This is cute. It's giving very bad. I have to get dressed. He wants. Are you jealous? I'm your boy. Hmm? Okay. And your boy wants to go to the party. Skippy's and taking control. <laughs> Every time I see someone take something off now, I'll be like, fold it. <laughs> You're gonna start telling me? Probably! It <laughs> stuck with me forever. It has become a core memory. Look at him, he's but enjoying also, like, it. The actors just like are really committing. Yeah, it, you yeah, know? they are. Interesting. <sighs> so walk into that fancy Georgetown party with my smell on it. Huh? What? Interesting. That's how you get invited to the party. Mr. Kennedy, don't deny it. Is that Lucy? Oh, that's Lucy, yeah. May I get you another drink? Thank you, sir. You are an attentive escort. <laughs> Not that kind of escort. I was like, what? Did she clock it? Meaning. Did she clock it? What is the other meaning? Escort, like, um, begleiter. How do you say it in English? Escort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is Marcus. Don't tell him my secrets. He's a stinking rotten commie journalist. That's they how they're meeting, I guess. Mm. We belong to the same club. Where are we going? Someplace way more exciting. Ooh, take us. There's a land they say. 
Is that the place that is more exciting? Oh, all three of them. Oh my god. Wow. Very alternative. <laughs> Especially all the waiters. <laughs> I'm living. Wow. Hey, Buster. See that red light in the cash register there? That comes on, you better make 12 inches of daylight between you and your friend right here. And do it fast. And you? You're responsible for them. <laughs> like, imagine you, like, making out and suddenly you see the red light and you're like... Nobody move! This is kind of erotic, you know, being in this sort of environment. It's forbidden. Because you think probably, like, most people in there are, like... Have a, have a secret, you know, like hiding. Everybody. They're all hiding. Yeah. Are you going to marry Lucy Smith? Oh my god. Way to make it complicated. Hmm. Well, oh. I mean, if he's like falling in love with him, you he know, is, like. Yes, yes. He wants to know. Oh, poor him, he's upset. I committed mortal sins for you. Oh, here we go. I could go to hell. Hell's a fantasy, Skippy. I'm not ashamed to feel things. That I need to feel things, believe in things. You're the coward, not me. God, way to make a scene. In an underground club. He's not lying though. He's not lying now. We agree with Skippy, aka Tim. Just two or three days at the most. I know where you're going. I heard you talking to Mary. Oh, she knows about it. Does he have... Yeah. <gasps> She knows she everything. Knows. She probably wants him to die. Ah, uh, she looked like she was worried. Mm. You're everything to me. If I was everything, you wouldn't be going where you're going. Bless her. Well, I don't know how much she knows. Probably everything. Who knows? We'll probably find out. We'll probably see it throughout the series now. There'll be a lot of confrontations. Not sure I'm ready for it. When I committed this sin, I felt pure. So how can I be sorry for it? Exactly. Walk away! Yes! Cooperated, use that name. They're gonna let me resign quietly. Glad it worked out. But it didn't exactly work out. Fuck, he tried to kill himself. <gasps> no. He made him on the stomach. I owe the kid something. Stay away from him. That's crazy. The executive order that President Eisenhower will sign to That is crazy. Security investigation. And the Washington, D.C. Police Sex Perversion Elimination Program. Sex Perversion Elimination. He's giving money, that's at least something, I guess. An investigation may be what is she doing? An accusation by a fellow employee, even if... But I'm surprised oh, that he that left book. the book there. That is such a rookie mistake for him to leave it there now. What did you say? Thank you for everything? We're disturbed about them because they are dangerous to this country. Thank you. Do you have a minute? No, I don't. Kenny. That was his name, my first. Remember, you asked? I want to hold you tonight, if you'll let me. Mm, hold him because he thinks it's the last time. I imagine a lot of people are afraid tonight. I don't mean the executive order, I'm afraid of you. I don't know what to do. Go inside. Shut that door and lock it behind you. Yes. But he's not going to do that because we won't have a scene. a lot of pain, you know? Exactly. 
But unfortunately, the lock is broken. <laughs> He's like this way, sir. Damn, damn. Hello. I talk. I'm in San Francisco. I really like to see you. He's gonna hang up. Think about it. He hasn't hung up the his whole life. He's not gonna hang up now. Wow, this must feel freeing for him. Oh, about 30 years later, you know. Who knows what happened in all those years. But even here, he's still doing his thing, you know. He's like, oh, I didn't want to call. Like, I wanted to show up because it, then maybe. Like, yeah, because he knows. He always got away with it. He always got what he wanted. Timmy always was coming back to him, you know. For him, it was always... Not a game necessarily, but it was always on his terms. Mm. It was never on Tim's terms, right? So sad because now he's just seeing times have changed, you know, and people are more openly gay, you know. He probably they thinks could this could that. be us. Yes, he probably thinks this could be us. Because it's also not fair for Lucy. And this is not, it is just obviously one story, but this was. It still is across the world, you know, even today people are in hiding and stuff and make, you know, making families, but that's not what they really want. Heartbreaking, very heartbreaking. Now he's gonna call. Stop it. Is this is the end. Oh. Say it to his face, Tim. Say it to his face. Episode one. What do you think? This is gonna be explosive. Yeah. Right. Explosive. Emotional. I emotional. I feel like it's going to be very sad. Towards the end. Towards the end? Because this is already sad. This so already I can only sad. imagine the end is just going to yeah. be heartbreaking. And at the beginning I thought, ah, uh, you know, they're telling us, or we already know what's going to happen more or less because, you know, it, it starts from the future and now we're back in the past and we're obviously skipping, you know, like, mm -hmm. like we're jumping back and forth but then suddenly that reveal that lucy is fully aware of what is going on yeah everything right so it just adds more spice to the sauce right <laughs> more spice to the sauce <laughs> I didn't even think about it. It just adds more spice to the sauce because you're like, now, oh my god, we will actually the witness. Turn into hot sauce. <laughs> exactly. Yes. We will actually witness how Lucy will step by step get a glimpse behind the curtain. You know, she yeah, will I mean, find I, I, out. We don't anything. obviously we don't know exactly what happens, but we can just assume that she will he, find out. He, he will obviously marry her. Yes. And have kids and whatever. Yes. But throughout the years. She would probably find out that he used to date Skippy, or maybe they are still skipping. Uh, skipping. <laughs> maybe they're still seeing each other. Seeing each other. Most, de most definitely. Most definitely. Um, she might it? even walk in on them. Yeah. She might even knows. walk in on them. But you can see, like, they. It's just this mentality of, especially back then, that you have a family and you need to keep up this perfect image yes. right and even though she knows they're not they're not getting divorced no she's right? just she's, they're just playing the game yeah yeah, yeah. 
they're paying the game and um anyway let's not talk about what is gonna happen let's talk about what we just saw yeah so what do you think first episode first impression yeah interesting i mean it's very unfamiliar and very unusual because it plays mostly in the 50s you know so yes. obviously we don't we know did, that we, we didn't experience it you know like and we yes. don't see a lot of movies or a lot of tv shows yeah about that time i agree right so it was really unusual for me to see that fuller was like you know quite well obviously he was hiding yes his sexuality but at the same time i feel he was like taking a lot of risks um, yeah right yeah he was like at the party when he first met skippy mm, kind of even made a move there yeah kind of flirting but like how can you be 100 percent sure the yes. other person is yes gay you yes, know yes, yes. so imagine the other one is straight and like hey like what are you doing what are you doing why are you flirting with me yeah um going to those toilets and the park and you know but it seems because obviously he he's also working in politics right for him it's even more dangerous it's even more dangerous but also for him it seems really just it's fun it's like this risk right but he knows i think already that he will never be openly gay right yeah he knows eventually he will have to settle down mm. get married whatever where skippy i think is really falling in love falling in love well they're both it you know they're, they're they're both somewhat in different um parts of their lives and their careers you know fuller is is like some sort of senior official it seems mm. uh we call him skippy and tim is you know like a junior not even an editor, you know, he just got a job only because of Fuller. So he was an intern before or something. Mm. Um, and it does also, and we find out Tim is only just, um, you know, being really okay with his sexuality. Where he now, even yeah. when he was confessing, he said, oh, you know, I did this and it's a sin, but I, I felt pure. Yeah. You know, finally he's coming to terms with himself and actually he's enjoying it. He's... He's indulging in the moment. He's living it. On the other hand, Fuller has been doing it for a while. Mm -hmm. He knows where to find the boys. He, it's a quick number. It's an in and out. You know, no names. Because he was burned in the past. You know, he talked yeah. about it just now. We, we find out first... at the end. Here's for, and it seems like it was his first actual love, you know. And for all we know, if, it, if they wouldn't have been burned back then, if it wouldn't have happened the way it happened... He might have been, you know, head over heels with that boy and, and they would have lived a life together and stuff. But he then, he, you know, he said, I learned to keep my distance, no names and just privacy, you know. But here he's breaking these rules. With, yeah. with Tim, he's breaking those rules because he is falling in love. You see it slowly. You know, even when he said, I just want to come up and, and just hold you. Yeah. But... And I think, and you know, going into the future, because he has been getting away with it up until now, he will continue to play these games and just be risky because he even said it, you know, wasn't that great. You know, they went to this party and they were together there mm. and he said, oh, like, wasn't this great? Like, wasn't it? Like, yeah. It's almost like almost, a fetish. Yeah. And it's almost like he's he's fully aware of the life he has, like the lifestyle he has. Yeah. He wants to have this like almost double life mm. you know he's like yeah i'm you know i'm I'm married and whatever like i have a normal life but yeah. at the same time he's still exploring his other side you yes. know his gay side yes 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 it's dominant but he's dirty. getting he's getting away with it all these years right he's getting away with it we even see one of his colleagues that was investigated and is literally about to lose everything yeah right um and it does appear to be a very, very um, serious risk or serious threat that he keeps taking. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. Because there was also this one scene where they're both, they're, they're sitting on that bench in the park. And then he says, oh, look to your left. 
and there's this police, mm. almost like a detective. He wasn't even yeah. wearing a proper uniform. He was just wearing a trench coat, you know? Yeah. Uh, he said, oh, he needs to fill his quarter. It's the end of the month. So it's almost like, That's so also do they know? That's crazy to me. Yeah. It's almost like at that time in, in the early 50s. They were 50s, hunting them. They were hunting them. And hunting also them. later on, we see they've implemented this order. Yeah. Which almost sounded like, you know, the FBI and like other departments. It's almost like they're trying to find or hunt gay gay people because yes. they see them as a threat. Yes. And also the one bit that really annoyed me is when we see one of his assistants, right? It's the one that sits to the right when you walk into his office. You have to the left and to mm -hmm. the right. So I'm assuming the girl sitting to the left is the senior assistant. And then the one sitting to the sitting to the left and the one sitting to the right that has the curlier hair is a bit of a junior assistant and is also knows nosy she goes and checks out the book yeah and that surprised me he is so he's such a risk taker he knows how to cover his tracks but then he leaves that damn book in that drawer babe yeah no. but i couldn't really see what it said I, yeah we probably need to go back and zoom in but Probably I don't think it's like an explicit no, it really message. Probably you know? doesn't like, say. Otherwise, I don't think you would no, have kept it. It's there. not gonna say I enjoyed sucking your dick, but yeah. it's probably gonna just say thank you for everything, something, kisses, Skippy. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> well, speaking about dick, <laughs> there were quite a few like spicy scenes, which I didn't expect. The sauce was spicy. Yeah, <laughs> the sauce was spicy. Uh, I didn't expect it, but I also want to say that a few of our subscribers said. It's very spicy. Someone yeah, said spicy. Someone said spicy in the comments. Well, we won't be able to show everything, the spiciness, of course, but but you guys saw, saw it. You so. saw it. So. <laughs> it's it's in it's on the internet. Yeah. Uh, they must have had a fun time uh, recording, especially the scene where where he is uh, sucking his toe. I would have yeah. loved to be there just for the outtakes. I mean, I'm assuming they definitely had like a intimacy coordinator or something. Probably not only like, that. But who, uh, they, they must have been cracking up and laughing in the, at that scene. <laughs> it's like having his foot in his mouth. Yes. And like, yeah. And that's funny. Anyway, it's, it's, it's nicely done. Good. This is episode one. Fellow travelers, thank you again for the recommendation. Um, yeah. It's going to be explosive. There's a lot Definitely. more on the channel. If you have not subscribed just yet, if you are new here, we are also watching or have watched Young Royals, mm -hmm. which ultimately lets, leads us to this. Uh, and Heartstopper as well. And uh, yeah, please subscribe. And we'll see you for the next one. Take care. Bye.